we go. Ahoy everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today along with... First mate Drakir at your service. Who still it seems is <laughs> not as burpy as I was hoping. And I... yeah, welcome back to Shantae Half Genie Hero. Where, uh, yeah, last time we finished off Pirate Queen's quest with almost 100%. And we started on the Prince to the end, and yeah, I, I severely underestimated how long this would take. I, I remembered going through this right, like, really fast, but yeah, half an hour, it, no, it wasn't. Yeah, if I just see it, 53 minutes and 17%. Yeah, I'm presuming a 17% is for the, uh, the Dream Squids. Maybe? Yeah, I, I really don't know if there's anything new to get you know, or extra to get from getting those. Uh, yeah, we've seen that before last time. <laughs> and yes, Sky, my Ooh. estimation of time is awful. Here's yep. And also, I thought I was about to burp, actually, <laughs> as I just took a, a sip of my drink. <laughs> so sorry to disappoint you if you want me to regularly burp like intros. Uh, yep, now it's just too late. But uh, yeah, last time we finished Pirate Queen's quest and we started on the well, the next, uh, well, the last of the story DLCs, which is well has us fighting as Bolo, Roddy Tops, and Sky. And uh, yeah, they work on a bit like a Sonic the Hedgehog. If they get hit, they drop, they well, they lose health and they drop gems. Which is how to get stronger. And yeah, this, I forgot to look up, but uh, Bolo. <laughs> the, what? Uh, okay, they each have it. Okay, Bolo is the only one that really has a special thing going when he's hurt. <laughs> okay. But yeah, Roddy's a bit of a bruiser. Uh, Bolo. Yep. Bolo can attack from a longer distance. That was shorter with when he was on level 1, so I'm presuming the chain lengthens with each level as well. And Sky can attack with, well, very Mario 2 uh, looking seagulls. And don't forget, with the love, Risky Boots. Uh, no. Roddy Tops, is, well, she's a bit of a bruiser. She's also the only one that can heal herself. Yeah. Okay, are they just taking except? Yeah, they're just ex taking exceptionally <laughs> a large, an exceptionally large amount of damage from Bolo there. Yep. Let's not fall for that. Oh dear. Damn it. <laughs> and today I'm eating something special to the stream, a bit early than usual, since oh. I did not feel like I wanted to go back and forth between the image of the stream. Pizza. <laughs> okay, let's and get that before it vanishes. If I look at it, I still see something I can see why I usually feel a bit weird after eating this pizza from this restaurant. Yeah. They always burn the bottom of it. Like, it, it it's not burnt enough for you to taste it. But since it's on the whole pizza, that amount of burnt food can do a reaction. Okay. Uh, let's heal up a bit with Roddy. Yeah, still good pizza, just probably gonna go to an other pizzeria. <laughs> That's a bit further away that I just like a bit more uh, for other reasons and so they... How to say? They feel more friendly and less awkward. Hmm. Oops. Hey, damn it. <laughs> nope. Holy crap. Head. Okay, with this current system, with gems and all, I feel like those mobs are gonna be even more painful to deal with. Yeah, especially since these two have a lot less uh, do capability in dodging. 
Yeah, like they have special skills, which is nice. Just not exactly skills well adapted for the uh, fighting around those kinds of mobs. Yeah. But then again, we we had difficulty with them with Shanti as well. Damn it. Yeah, and... then we did. So we had at least easy time fighting them and moving around them. We just gotta find the space for it. That was awful. Yes, yes, yes guy. It was. Keep <laughs> criticizing me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, at least we know what's coming now. Is it always going to start on on Sky? Okay. Uh, yeah, we do want we do want to share around the gems a bit because yeah, Ronnie can't get any more since he's at max level, and I do want to see what the effects are with the others. Once they get to level 3 and 4. And yeah, I'm guessing these just count more as obstacles here than enemies than like they did last time. I did not think I'd actually get between those. No, no. Uh, yeah, we just swim across, deal with the little guys. And yeah, when we take damage, we don't actually we don't actually drop the same amount of gems that we lose. There we go. That's level four. Hmm. It came on that. But it is, it is encouraging teamwork, so you, of course you would be a big punish if you don't use all the characters. Yeah. So okay, sometimes that's not, not easy to do. Sorry? I missed that. Oh. Uh, just, just being short, uh, a bit off with how much uh, Bolo needs for his next level. And... let's see. There we go. Robbie's magic is still good, so we can get a heal if we need it. Okay, now we're back here. A bit better off, I'd say. Yeah, and all the good. Again! Shanti and Risk Boot, why they did have strong with them, even it was not. It was in more of a fair challenge, usually, but. It feels like it's going to be an extreme struggle with these guys. Actually, how do you deal with birds? Okay, that just keeps us stuck in our parry position. Yeah, you need no, to see what I mean. That. I feel like these characters were not really... They probably didn't think of what m the issue they would have with some of the mobs here. Just need to lure out that. Oh, damn it. And then just attack whilst they are stuck in the animation. There we go. Yeah. We had to cheese it? Uh, I think that's mostly where how we are supposed to actually fight the big well the big enemies. Just let them leave themselves open and then strike. It's, it's oh, a common yeah. enough mechanic once by dealing with enemies. Yeah, do I just feel like that target felt a bit more clunky with these three. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Look at that face. She looks so surprised. <laughs> if that is a surprised face. Well, her body, her body is getting reconnected into her head. I feel like she's supposed to say, wow. As if she's trying to balance her head to not fall off again or something. There we go. 
and Jay, look, let's see. Yep, there we go. Easier than I thought. Now then, yep. It's not going to be. It's going to be really annoying to try and keep up um, between the damage we take and uh, yeah, keeping up the, the gem count because we were right there with Polo on that. Yeah, that, that's probably also another thing. Like, we don't have the best health compared to Shantae though. But when Shantae and Risky with sort of PC, they had already upgraded health and some upgraded gear. Yeah. Can we lose levels and power for every time we get hit? Now, they both started off with the same amount of health. It's just that here it's shared and it's not go <laughs> We can't upgrade it. Yep, hence why I feel like uh, the bigger, bigger force we become a bigger much problem. More yeah, much bigger problem. How not intended? Okay. Let's see if we're going to get chased by Wilbur again, and at least we've hit a checkpoint. There we go. Uh oh. Uh. There. Let's not try and waste time on extra stuff. There we go. It's not the time. Is there anything here? No. Dream squid and... <laughs> and death. Oh dear. Okay. Ow! Okay, I can't hit it. That's good. Ow! Okay, take two. Again, I don't know what the dream squids are for. I don't think they are required. Okay, Bolo. It's a bit annoying if they are. Unless they are the only way to upgrade the health. Go. Luckily, the time stops whilst we're trying to throw with Roddy. Okay, that's good. For otherwise, I would feel like that would be a damn gamble to use her ability. Yeah, screw it. Okay, out of the way, Junior. Give me those. Probably should have given that to Roddy since magic isn't shared. And I should probably turn off the <laughs> notifications. Yeah. yeah, let me just do that quickly. Yeah, uh, you've forgotten that uh, a few streams now. Yeah. Ooh, good. Okay, why the hell is that so in overinflated, Steam? Come on. Friends. And do not disturb. Okay, there we go. I need to remember to turn that off after. Okay, more hits than I should have taken. And as long as we stay ahead, we're good. So I don't know why they put those pegs there when they could have just put more rings in. Good question. Damn it. There we 
go. And Bolo again. I don't really need to do some spin off game with Shante. It would be nice to get to know the other characters a bit more. Yeah. Too high. There we go. Yeah, I had a feeling that one, the left, the, the right side wasn't going to be a, as good as an option. Okay, just gotta take a few hits. Nothing up there. Okay, and out. There we go. I think it actually took less tries than we originally had with Shante. Yeah, though, at least we knew what to do, sort of. You know, they changed around it a little bit. Yeah. Okay, I'm guessing Sky will be used a lot here to make extra platforms like that. There we go. Can we even... Don't think so. And there we go. Oh, hello. Damn it. No gems, sadly. Okay. Uh, I didn't even see what was underneath here, so is it even worth it? Weird. Oh. Okay, that would... <laughs> so we can actually... You can actually get damaged by accidentally throwing Roddy's head into the abyss. Uh, that the dream it squids. makes sense. It makes sense, but still. Uh, okay, okay. Seems each segment has its own dream squids. Yeah. It's gonna make it trick you to know what the heck they do. Yeah. If we can't heal because Rod he is low. I also, if they do increase health, then they definitely done it a very annoying system to upgrade your health by. Now we have gotten all three of them in some areas, and we didn't get an upgrade. Oh. So, yeah, I really can't say if they're worth it or not. Okay, yeah, that, that makes a bit more confusion since we can't, we can't go back either. Now there's probably a level, uh, there, there's probably going to be a level select at the very least, one point. That's better be a full heal. No, just some gems, okay. Hmm. See if we can find let's see if we can finally get Bolo to level three. Because that having this attack be longer range would be pretty useful. So far I, I do like the, this little story here and all that, but the mechanics are a bit clunky with how they are with everything. Yeah, but also at the same time, I almost feel like a, a experiment, almost? Yeah. Okay. Oh, but okay, yeah, to... it does extend this attack quite a bit. Holy. But yeah, it might be to investigate uh, possible future mechanics. Yeah. Okay, get Roddy some of her gems back as well. Uh, and yet you forgot one. Uh, I don't want to risk going oh, into the dark but... magic and getting an instant kill or whatever. Okay, yeah. It didn't look as close until you walked closer to it. Yeah, uh, I, I missed that she was attacking. Okay. Yeah, I, I was trying to cheese it there, but instead I got cheesed. 
I'm the only one eating cheese here. Uh, not that. I forgot to bring up the chat program. There we go. Not that there's much activity there anyways. Okay. If I... If I had to pick a favorite between these three, it would probably be between Rotti or and Sky. Oh. And not that I find Bolo a bad character, he's just a bit of a jackass. And a well, lot of a dumbass. Yeah, it, it has its own charm. But, but Professor Mimic seems a bit more... How to say more likable? Yeah. Hero time. Uh, I, I do kind of hope they give him some uh, better spotlight in the future. Yeah, Let's not go. going to risk any further on that because the next fall will kill us. There we go. I, if I recall correctly, this is the Tan Line Island music from Pirate's Curse. Well, it would uh, make sense, considering uh, both areas were quite uh, deserty. Yeah. Okay, back to Bolo. Actually, now we still... One thing that is a bit annoying now is that whenever we die, it seems that whatever we lose stays. But, uh, yeah, we don't gain things back. Just, let's see, 103 gems on Bolo here. So let me move my cursor away. Let's see, Bolo. Okay, so... Hmm. Okay, I was wrong there. Things are reset to the checkpoints. Yeah, but maybe you got to keep them if you were just responding to a minor checkpoint from falling down in the pit, but this time you actually died from a mob. Yeah. And again, I still can't say if those things are animated, or if, if they're drawn or 3D animated. And... I think they might be both. Okay, let's do that with less sky falling out of the sky. <laughs> the, the hoverboards just look so freaking unamused with everything. A hover... Do you just call... Wrench a hoverboard? No, the game specifically called them hoverbirds. And it ranges to one that she pulls out like that. Uh, uh, yeah, there is, there is a small amused. difference in coloring, though. Yes. Let's see. Yeah, the, the hoverbirds have the purple tails, whilst Wrench has a... Is that purple? Or it, he doesn't stay out for long. Okay. Lighter. Yeah. I uh, don't think we can jump that. There we go. But yeah, we need to go find some magic and give it to Roddy Tops so that she can actually heal him. There we go. Not enough, though. And luckily, she doesn't take damage if her hand lands in the the beams instead of just passing through. There we go. Now I realize the alarm is here of showing the teeth. Yep. Almost fell down. Okay. Almost again. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, no need to heal now. But still, we'll want any magic we find to go to Roddy. Almost, yet again. Okay, this one is close enough for us to get, so might as well. But I, I'm not going to go out of my way to find them. Here we go. There we go. Now we have our heal ready. And there we go. I should have saved those for Bolo or Sky, but oh well. Okay, this is where we fumbled last time, so that's not. There we go. Game mechanic wise, it always feel like Rod Top and Sky have the better ones. Yeah, M Bolo is still required for his mobility, but yeah, it does uh, it does have a feel that uh, on the combat uh, side, Sky and Roddy, well, Roddy is the strongest outright, and Sky has the most range. Yeah, so it's kind of weird. Bolo's just, <laughs> Bolo's just stuck in between with that. Yeah, this kind of weird for sense. He's the only one with an actual weapon. True. He, he, and next. You see, on the screen, he has a, a flail. And yet, the flail, the flail is not as effective as uh, Rodrop's own foot. Yeah. Okay. Oop. Almost got hit by that. Okay, let's not go too low. Thank you. Very much needed that. Or could use that all the same. Uh, who is closer to level? Sky is. Oh, heart. Hmm. Right. There we go. Okay then. Back up there. And moving on. Oh. Damn it. You stupid bird brains again. That button cut pretty close. Like, literally exploded at Sky's feet. Okay, I just want to be extremely careful here because of the bomb birds. There. If I recall, none of these mechanics make a return in the next game, though. Full heal. And this should bring us to the boss. Okay. Which should be uh -oh. easy enough. Oh, there you are. I was waiting for you. How do you like living inside a memory? It's dumb. I do it all the time. My unforgettable good looks and impressive history of volunteer work. Unpaid, mind you. Keeping me forever alive in the minds of my adoring populace. Uh, you mean all of the sand around? And now, thanks to the, na the, the, now, thanks to the nasty genie, I'll be remembered out there and in here. Isn't it nice? A <laughs> redundant backup. A two-for-one deal. <laughs> At least as long as I make good on my end of the bargain. So Shantae is trying to stop us. <laughs> Why don't you take on Wilbur and find out? Yeah, boy. He's um... in worse for wear. <laughs> Glorious one-up loop. 
it, it feels like every time we see him again, he looks more and more beat up. It could just be that we're noticing the scuffs on him more and more. Okay, where are they landing? I'll take those. And you take this. Uh, again, they really didn't need to put in the slow-mo. Okay, now this is going to start. Yep. And this is going to be a lot easier with Sky like this. And from there, it's just repeating. As always, not the best boss fight, but still a, a nice one. There. And there. One more round should do it. I can't tell if Sky's birds are actually traveling faster or farther away, the higher level she is. I, she obviously can throw out more birds as she does. One more time. I don't wonder if we can do you load both cannons at him. Uh, probably not. He probably won't repeat the attack. And let's see. One, two, three. I think they actually are going further now. Where are they landing? Let's actually finish this as Roddy Tops. See if she has anything to say at the start of a level. Alright! That was a piece of cake. Our bargain. Please let me try again. I can beat them if you give me another chance. And again she goes poof. Yuck, at least she's gone. Yes, but now we know for certain that Shantae sent Holly to stomp us. Oh no! But what about, but what about the good Shantae? Who knows if she even exists anymore? Don't even say things like that. Come on. Let's keep searching. <laughs> All right. nice. yes. Yeah, they are still being sent from memory to memory. So, yeah, it, it is both sides of <sighs> both sides of uh, Shantae that are well, both fighting and supporting them. Uh, what the? Hey, look over there. Looks like we've stumbled onto another memory. Cape, Cape Crustacean. I flew Shantae here to stop an act of sabotage. Doi, th th it was my race tickets that got us in here. Abner and Post 11 for giving me for giving their ticks to you two instead. See, I was sacrificing for the team before any of this. We wouldn't even be here if you had yeah, been helpful from the beginning. Hold up. This was us before, right? So why does Ruddy look so strange? Oh, yeah, look at that. You look kind of alive. What? what? 
It's not like... <laughs> it's like I'm not a zombie. What does this mean? Uh-oh. Evidently, Shantae knew you in the past and never mentioned it. I suppose this is how she rem remembers you. Yeah, we haven't seen her since Pirate's Curse, huh? What? Yeah. Not possible. Although... It does kind of explain why she's so nice to me. Especially when other people run away. Right, it means she sees you for you. Gosh, it's also honest. Like how she sees you as the weak little crybaby. <laughs> Bolo. We're wasting time. To conquer this memory, we're going to have to win this race. Okay, here we go through this again. Though it'll probably be easier with Sky. And is it just me or does she look a bit more tan in the uh, character selection bit? And in her profile in the upper left. Uh, yeah! Is this same with... No, Bolo seems to be about the same with the tan. Just an, a little oddity. Okay. Also, how is... Damn it. <laughs> what was that look, Bolo? How are these things going so fast? Oh, I see that squid. You know, we get to figure out what the heck is... We probably should investigate uh, what the heck the squids are for. Yeah, I don't want to interrupt the gameplay again. And here we go. Yeah, it's very good to not do it now. Halt, who goes there? No one is allowed past this point. Ammo Baron's orders. Let's blast this clown. Witch and Vinner again. Take him down. And I still can't remember which of them is bloody who. Yeah, this should be a lot easier with Sky's range attack. Oop. The attack yeah, just got downgraded. <laughs> Sometimes some maze can give you a hint of who is who, but not here. Okay, Bombardier. You don't need to call out your attack like you're a freaking Digimon. Uh, is, that, is that kind of a common trope in, in many animes? Yeah. I didn't mind it still, but the more I grow, the more I realize it's not a good thing. Well, you, you could lamp it by the, well, faking people out with the wrong attack. I'll uh, just barely dodge that. Yeah, I think I think I've seen that in one anime, maybe on shore. I think I've seen some anime actually. Question why you shout out your spell. Now with spells at the least there is often the excuse that there's a vocal part to the spell as well. Yeah, when you're in the vocal part, that does make sense. But there are many times where it does not make sense. Like uh, when a fighter does a special move. Yeah. <laughs> but sure, it sounds cool when you hear the voice and all, but when you really think about it, you realize it's a bit unnecessary. And yeah, again, it, it's easier to... It would have been easier to take her out first, since her attack is more difficult to dodge if we're trying to get our own attack in. Okay. Apollo! 
wonder if Twit is the gunner of the two. This is the this is the um, this is the theme from a uh, yeah this is the, the town theme in a uh, pirate's curse. Ah. I get I don't mind them three re reuse areas, but I'm surprised they did a lot with this game. go. Green squid get. Still have no bloody idea what they're for. Okay. Uh, can't reach that. I could have probably check it up on YouTube, but since my YouTube is my TV, um, yeah. Uh, you could Google on a phone or something. Uh, I already not use my phone for that. I actually hate to use internet on my phone. Yeah. And sky falling out of the sky again. Can can we actually summon another hoverbird whilst we're on one? Good question. Nope. Nope. Okay. And that's a bit of a tricky jump. Yeah, the, I like her abilities to the Hoverbird Fizz Rudder. Clunky. Okay, we need more air. Great. Okay. Don't tell me these jackasses are going to keep spawning whilst we're moving away. So that could, can be a good thing for us. So that means we can level up. No, they, they drop more magic than gems. In the... Yep, come on. <laughs> okay, at the very least, they don't seem to be coming for us there. And I, I hovered too early, I think. Hmm. No, we we just can't jump that high. Okay, time for a little test and hopefully without getting... Never mind. I was going to say hopefully without getting bothered by the goons, but no. Okay. Okay, so we could do this. There we go. That should give us the height we need for this jump. Just barely. Uh, but where to from here then? Oh, there we go. Yep. And I, I keep forgetting about the magic that they each have. Um, let's do the same trick again. Just barely. Okay, yeah, the game is being really annoying here with these jumps. Yeah. It, here I feel like uh, it's... I enjoy the story and the conversation well, but I do feel like the gameplay is almost a little bit too experimental here. Yeah. Probably okay. why they didn't return with this format. So I could see them return some abilities, just hopefully heavily improved. Okay, Roddy. Yeah, the, the thing is moving back and forth a little bit. Ugh. Yeah, like, but, but they would probably would have play tested it, but I feel like they should probably realize that this needs to, some tweaking around this place. Yeah, quite a bit. 
That or we're completely overlooking something. There, there are no rings for Bolo to grab on, though. Yeah. Again, it's not, it feels like we use Rodotops and Sky way more than uh, Bolo. Actually, let's try... No. Hmm. Okay, that way we get more distance if we jump and then throw. Maybe that's the key? Yep. It, it helps, of course, if we can land back where we want to. But that might be the trick, to jump and then throw the egg. Let's see, what time is it? Alright. Yeah, I still suspect we maybe be able to finish this in this stream. Just. It's not as short of as you thought it would be, indeed. Yeah. Go, oh, come on. So, in this case, that's just kind of good, so we don't have this awkward. Oh, we would have had 30 minutes remaining. What do yeah. you do now? Okay. Get more. Out of reach. Okay, yeah, let's. Really? Oh yeah. no! They should have taken out the part where you can take damage if you actually then throw you know, Roddy's head where it doesn't belong. Yeah, like, some places... I, I, I think it would be more forgiving for that, if not for this level. There we go. For this is the level where that would happen extremely easily. There we go. Then we get the dropship again. Let's see if we can completely top up Roddy's magic. Yep. Okay, now the game is telling us just move on already. Okay. No more stupid long jumps. I think I know what's going on. He spent all his money to buy ammunition for the cannons and artillery. Yeah. So he can afford to the uh, guns and regular rifles. And I'm guessing that's going to set us right back to the start. Yep. Oh, dear God. I suspect this is going to be the level that gonna it's sink going us be... down. Hmm? Yeah, it's going to be the most annoying. Uh, that too. Mostly because of this part. Let's skip the freaking jump. Wait. Fuck you. Oh, I know if I play this, I would hate this level even more. Okay, time to farm again. And that's one heal ready. And there's the cannon. 
the hell? Nice. Okay. No need to go under. Okay, keeping a better eye on our health this time. Oh, yeah, it does feel like they should have put in health upgrades at one point here. There we go. I guess they wanted it to be a bit more challenging. Like, sure, you made these levels before, but there will be a bit more challenge to them, or a different challenge. Which I will accept is a good idea. And I did shorten some of them, these levels, but. Hmm. Yes. Okay, I just completely cheesed that bit there. Oh, no, now Boro gets to be some use. go right at the end of this section okay mm. still making progress okay birds nope Then brain. Then brainless. There we go. And this area where they just keep spawning. Okay. It's probably... Good. Yeah, there's probably just a dream squid up here, but <clears throat> yeah, they really been... skipped one of them. Yeah, this is a new area, so there's a, a three new ones here. Oh, simple one. Just break the correct block. Nice. Okay, so. <laughs> uh... Yep. They really should have said what actually happens with these damn things. So we actually, it, it actually gives a good reason to collect them other than, well, go get them. Yeah, they basically said, collect them all and something good might happen. Or collect them free and something good might happen. Yeah, but we yeah. collected all three in the areas before and nothing happens. Yeah, unless it's random chance something good happens. Yeah, I find that doubtful. Yeah, same. Unless we haven't noticed what it does. Like, do we even have an inventory? Nope. And yeah, we have stage select there. There we go. Now Bolo is the only one who needs gems. That sound... Why did we get that sound? Because it's uh, a hidden area. Oh. Or hidden-ish. Hmm. Okay, is there anything we can do here? Or did they just not block off the entrance or something? Ah, there we go. It's probably just another dream squid here. Oop. I almost didn't see that against the background. Sneaky. Yeah, his flail or grows bigger and a different color depending on the level. It was orange before. Okay. 
Hmm. There we go. Ow. Uh, I think someone else needed the gems. Yeah, they're all maxed out at the moment. Oh. I thought it was a little bit freaky. <laughs> so, my bad uh, on that one. Yeah, un unless the game is really going to just show what the hell we want the Dream Squids for, I'm just not going to do too much. Uh, I'm just going, not going to put too much effort into collecting them. Say us for special end game pictures or something? Maybe. Like this collection percentage. Because I don't. There is no uh, different ending for this DLC either. So, so it could just be like with. Uh, with risky boots, they just. Yeah, it's just for the completion percentage. Oop. There we go. Holy, do you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> she really just chows down. Can we. No, just shorts. Oh well. Bye bye. <laughs> oh dear. I think the most problematic thing that we're going to be having to deal with here will be the boss fight with Ammo Baron. Nope. Accidental find. Nope. <laughs> okay. You see a lot of the. Use the word problematic a lot. Uh, actually, I think Sky's birds will probably be the deciding. Fa Wait, that actually that actually damages enemies. That, that, it makes sense. You can bite them. <laughs> so yeah, don't don't uh, say bite me to Raditas because she actually will. Yeah, very likely she will. There we go. Yep. I thought we were just short of that. Okay, just in range. There we go, much safer. And yeah, oh, not good thing that they give us a good, yeah, a full heal. And yeah, let's see what Ammo Baron has in store for us. Probably a fine selection of codes. And then we're going to kick his army so hard they're going to turn into turncoats. Oh, come on! So just where the hell are you on that ship each time, dumbass? Last at all. It's, it was, Bro, oh, hello, ladies. Huh? Hey, what about me? Bro, oh, sorry, fella. I <laughs> didn't hardly see you there. Look, we're at max capacity, kid, so how about you step aside and make room for a real man? Eyes on the prize, lady. No one can resist a man in uniform. Is it ladies? <laughs> Uh, I don't think he realized uh, what rot is. Uh, he still hit it. So who's going to be the lucky lass? 
I gotta, I gotta find carpet uniform and about a dozen animated movie soundtracks to choose from. I can show you the world, and they will show you the ground as they kick you off. Oh, dear God. <laughs> Emma Baron's gonna show you, show you the world. <laughs> he did the joke I, for You didn't realize? Uh, I only now just read it. <laughs> We're gonna soar over and under clouds, fly low and drag our fingers in, in, in a lake, all that garbage. Yeah, that's, this is hard Aladdin <laughs> reference. Step right on up. Plenty of ammo barren to go round. No takers? Anyone? Pass. <laughs> Roddy. <laughs> I'm wait, in. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, seriously? Take a bit twist. <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> You'd skip out on a heartfelt musical number with yours truly. Fine. In that case, witness the fury of an ammo baron scorned. <laughs> oh, I... Okay, I'm not. I'm Shining Shinrake soldier. <laughs> Oh dear. I'm not surprised she did the psych yoke, but I hope expected she was to move, try to bite him or something. Uh, it, it would have been fitting if uh, she'd said bite me, you know, if he had said bite me and she, she had said uh, <laughs> gladly. Dear. I'm, I'm surprised they haven't done that joke with Roddy Pops yet. Might be they found that a bit too obvious or haven't thought of that yet. Uh, I'm pretty sure someone in the <laughs> way forward must have thought, you know, thought about it. Could also be one of those jokes they felt like a bit. Uh... Of a sheep yoke, so to speak. Yeah. There we go. I know who more of these characters get voice act. Like, we only finally hear how Amber Baron laugh. Yeah, I think we've heard that in his previous fights. It's just been, well, being drowned out with the combat mo noise. Yeah, I, I have come that, that we can finally hear how he laughs. This only gives a hint of his voice. Quickly. Yeah. Better option. There we go. What happened? And once again... <laughs> Good rinse to bad rubbish. As annoying as the gameplay can be at times in this game, I would say that just the character and story bits make it worth it. Oh yeah! <laughs> All right, so where to now? When Roddy left to watch the end of the world show, I stayed behind. You're lucky I was left behind because of her. You should have told us what Hypno Baron was planning from the beginning. I had to walk all the way to his castle on foot. I was promised new legs and now I'm gonna take them. Try it. Come on, you two, hands to yourselves. Hypno Baron's castle should be the final memory. Can we do this one more time? Uh. Fine. I suppose. That's the spirit. <laughs> Alright! Bolo might not be the best in combat and such, 
Uh, but he is the glue holding these two from killing each other. Yeah, even though the Fiddler was Sky was that at some times. Here it is, Hypno Baron's Castle. Now before we dive in, let's go over what we know. Each of these memories is an attempt by Shantae to stop us. But surviving each one brings us closer to a single pivotal moment in time. And what moment would that be? The very instant before she was ambushed by Rixky Boots and turned to evil. We have to warn her and stop the change before it happens. Then what? I'm not sure. Hopefully they'll snap her out of it and we can all go home. And what if we mess up? And she just turns evil all over again. Wouldn't we just end up jumping into her brain like we did before? Now she wasn't conscious for that. So she can't have known about that. We could be trapped in the Nightmare Realm forever. Maybe it's best not to think about it. Let's just make sure we don't fail, okay? And for once, they're all three in agreement. Oh dear. Let's go! Uh, okay, this will be different this time here. Mm hmm? How do you notice? Yeah, the lights. Yeah. That's a trap one. There we go. It's already on Roddy with that. Oop. Oh. Yeah, I guess this is a bit to make this area a bit more challenging. Like, I could, I could guess that this area would be always too easy if you could see everywhere all the time. Maybe, yeah. Uh... Okay. So, it's not much, it's hiding to begin with. So, thinking actually, this is, this is the on. zombie island music from Pirate's Curse. Oh yeah, it is. Nice. But I Raven was the Rave or something was it called? Whatever. I had no idea if I did read it. <laughs> Right, right, there was a... I guess this thing they have in your head just enough to give you surprises. Yeah, and I think we, I think the what entrance goes to where is, is different between each of them. Between each of the campaigns. So you can't just take the normal path. Or the same path. Yeah, wait, I don't know. We, we've seen... We've seen Rotty Tops get stuck in a slime. We haven't seen the others. Uh, we could give that a shot. One, yep, there's the next one. Yeah, so we, we've been doing it for us. Might as well do it for, since it's the only time that something, the mob do something special to someone. Yep. Oh, she's just closing her eyes and she looks, looks annoyed. Yeah, Sky was just... Uh... This guy was just going to deny to deny that ever happens and kill anyone would ever would yeah, that would ever bring it up. Yeah, everyone else just looked a bit of what the fuck. Yeah. And uh, next one probably would be Bolo. Bolo, just let's make sure we we have enough health. Did she spank herself there? I uh, just uh, to ask you that as well. <laughs> I just really... These are not vampires. Yeah, they're some sort of bat knights. Uh, look at the tail. <laughs> that might be Sokibahi. Possible. Knock knock. And then there's the bats. Oh, we want that. The way they say level up reminds me of Sonic Bloody Heroes. Bolo's turn. What the heck? The, that face! I'm not even sure how to read that. 
It's more like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Why me? Why me? And that's probably the closest he's ever gotten with a girl. Oh, come on. <laughs> Oh no! Th that sound is so mean! <laughs> but also true. Okay, I just realized something about what's happening to those uh, mobs. As they were about to um, implode, their clothes were ripping up before they imploded. Yeah, it's it, not that. I don't think they implode, I think they just straight up vanish. There's a yeah, screen but they do glue up quite a bit. The, it, it, the way their clothes tear up before disappear, it looks like they are about to explode. <laughs> and I do scream a lot as well. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's more a case that they get banished or something instead of just exploding. Yeah. But actually, that would make sense to, that they are succubi then. And why they're screaming so loudly? They're getting pissed off. They're getting sent back. <laughs> yeah, it's, I think it's more of a pain stream, but yeah. Well, it could be pain for bees to be sent back. Yep. There we go. Going to miss those because I don't want to get hit again by this ghost. And yeah, I guess we know what happens to Velma after death. Oh no! Come on, reveal yourself. Oh, it's nose. That's it. I used to be a Scooby Doo fan, actually. No. Oh. Yeah, though, recent years is kind of fallen out of it. Um, I think we watched Mystery Inc. together. That was a pretty good one, but yeah, this sh the Scooby Doo shows are a bit hit and miss. Hit and miss. Yeah. I don't think you and I have watched Scooby Doo together. Hmm. I'll need to make you, damn it. I think you maybe talky, talked about it. But I did have some old shows in the, in the 80s and 90s. They were good, but later with some movies and the live... The first live adaptation was okay, but then they... Uh, yeah. Became okay, then they just... Meh. And now it's also becoming part of the world. People gonna feed the wallet for political reasons. I think people gonna love it. Mm. I say, if you wanna make something that Scooby Doo like, make something Scooby Doo like. Just don't alter with the original. You can add character to it, just don't change the characters. Let's see, that puts us all the way over here. And, oh, damn it. Oh, oh, okay, we need to be real careful now, since yeah. we haven't hit a checkpoint. Yeah, I guess that uh, is my issue with current uh, Scoop Doo la later on, is they were milking it and stop respecting it. I see you up there, little shit. If that makes sense. It's... We want that. Uh, yeah, the, the, the quality with the many Scooby-Doo shows has been... Bloody bats. And then we get backstabbed. And we have to do all of that again. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, th this level is compact, but at the very least, it's not long. Yep, do it. The levels do feel a bit harder. 
Yeah, it's also because we have a lot less health. Hey, so just definitely. <laughs> Let's stop uh, trying to fight everything. Uh, you were to say something earlier? Uh, uh, quality. Yeah, I, I haven't, I haven't seen anything of the newest thing yet because it's not out yet. Uh. Let's see. I'm having to double task. Um, yeah. What the biggest complaint I have with it is that, uh, yeah, they they basically make it's they're basically making a Scooby Doo show without bloody Scooby uh, Scooby Doo. Wait, what? Yeah, <laughs> it's a prequel before they met the dog. So oh. that is what I've heard that most people have the biggest problem with. Yeah, yep. the, there was the, the other one where apparently Scooby-Doo is an ancient alien that possess animal bodies. Like, they, they, they have probably been spilling out a lot of Scooby-Doo series that either goes under the radar or rather makes to poor reception. I know that Mystery Incorporated uh, is the one that ha people have been liking the most recently. Yeah, uh, they are about to release a new one. This have uh, sparked a lot of problems. Let's see. Oh. This probably is why people are getting very annoyed. Uh, how to say? They Let's say this, apparently people are feeling like the next Scooby-Doo series that are coming is very... Forced? Yeah, with political propaganda. Like... Like, it's kind of like, like it's missed what Scooby-Doo is. Or but whoever writer is just wanna use the IP to make their own story. In the yeah. most disrespectful manner. Let's see. Need to go this way. Yeah, we will. Yeah, we will have to wait until it actually comes out before we can actually. Yes, he was freaking spanking herself. Before and taunting. Well, yeah, we will have. We'll have to see when it actually comes out. If it, well, any of that is, is speculation is true or not. Yeah, I. I can tell you some of it. Just I don't. Feel, uh. I just don't sure if you can talk about some of these things on Twitch. We should probably tell you something how bad it might be. If it makes me yeah. uneasy to talk about the details on Twitch. Yeah, I think I've seen a... a, a no, wasn't looking for that, but okay. I think I have seen... A teaser trailer or something, but it, I don't remember much about it, but it did feel somewhat pretentious to me, I think. But again, we'll have to see how it goes, because from the... Uh, from what you've been saying, Disenchanted is a really good series, but from what I saw of the trailer, it gave me a feeling of... Uh, yeah, that they were just going family guy, but fantasy. I thought that as well, but then I gave it a shot realized. They saved the best jokes away from the trailers. Yeah, so, so we'll, we'll have to see if, well, like that, the trailers uh, are going to be accurate or not to everything. Yeah, and I can see this. The, the first trailer would, I can agree, would give, it also gave me a slight Family Guy vibe, but also something else. I thought I would give a chance for people who were thinking that of the Futurama at first, they were pleasantly surprised. And uh, I guess it is. It's this is one that has a lot of story and a lot of character, but it has some small Family Guy joke here and there. It's not the highlights, okay. luckily enough. And they are 
far and between and give you a lot of better things to laugh at. Magic. I forgot about the bloody lamps. I do know that some people were upset about this enchantment for not being more Simpson. And with modern Simpsons, that's probably better, actually. Yeah, I think even the YouTube's review agreed in my statement that that's actually a good thing. For... It has, I think I said this about the time before, the people that did Simpson, And I... Watching this with Roma and this enchantment, I can feel like... They are happy to make this enchantment. But I have something new to work okay. with. For they have publicly said that they are wronging on fumes when making Simpson. And they have admitted to making Homer more stupid and stupid E season because they have. They could have stuck there. Yeah. They've kind of been forced to make Homer more stupid. Okay, there we go. Actually, let's think about it. If you f do a show as long as Simpson, and you become forced to make it dumber and dumber each season... Yeah, you're that's... going to get really tired of that. Yeah. Okay. But that's just a, a forced ex method to just find something new to make funny, but even that has a limit. I lost and... track of the health. At least we got a checkpoint. And the platform yep. isn't too bad here. Luckily enough. But yeah, this is short med on to our watch list. Okay. Let me just throw out his head since he... Uh, come on! Since he has the longest reach with this. You said a mental minute, I could see you brought the tops do. Oh. You throw her her hands uh, uh, throw her head, it lands in the water, it responds, and she has a damn fish in her mouth. <laughs> Don't you dare tell me that you could not see that happen with Rotter Tops? Mm. I totally could see that happening, yeah. Okay. Distance. There we go. Yeah, combining the hoverboard. Bip, come on. Let's try this then without with less bounce. There we go. Oh. Ooh. I almost m missed you there. A bit late. Still enough. Oh, come on, these stupid birds again. Are you sure there's something? Uh, again, with this moment. Do you remember the little black demon? Lucy? Um, I, I've seen them, but I... Oh, they didn't, I didn't actually know they were called uh, Lucy. Uh, it's more his nickname. Okay. Uh, I just realized he has some similarity with Stewie from Family Guy, except he's actually funny. Just short. But I guess that says something. You have someone that is similar as Stewie Griffin, but does it w but it's actually way more funny. There we go. I wonder if that's a good sign. Probably, yeah. Okay, deal with you. Yeah, I, I can't really find with... one more of those damn squids so we can see what the heck they do. I still think it's a collection thing, mostly. Yeah, I suspect it too, just... It would be nice if they just said it, 
instead of something nice, my, nice, ni nice, nice might happen. Yeah. M this makes and you think that you get some health upgrade or something, but. Yeah, uh, I, I really yeah. just think it's for the, uh, the final bits. Yeah, mm. and I, I would not be surprised if they just poor, poor choice of words, or they was intended to do something else. It got dropped, perhaps. Luckily, these things only start crumbling the moment that Roddy's bo body is reassembled. I should have put down a platform there, I think. Oh, for love of all, Hillian. And now I go and grab and peer if I need a fruit, I feel like. Out of range. Uh, this works, I guess. So can we? It's probably just going. To... Yep. Okay. Back. Okay. That's not much better, but okay. Is that... Just short, I think, on that. There. There we go. Bit of a tricky jump. Okay. Sky. And there we go. Okay, there we go again. I keep saying that a lot, huh? Yeah, you do. <laughs> oh. I saw if you sold it for those little bats for you hitting them with a. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Yeah, you saw that. It, really, nothing seems to be de changing. Yeah. Okay. I, I don't know. Is, it, is Rotops faking an accent or is she supposed to have an Australian accent? <laughs> uh, she could be faking. <clears throat> it's you. Wait. Who are you? Where? No matter. My incantation is nearly complete. Tremble in fear as you witness the end of your world. Behold, the creature of unspeakable horror. <laughs> Quit me in the shadow of pure evil. Right? Who are these folks? Stand-ins? I thought this was live. We'll stick to the script. <laughs> what are these two up to now? Eh, we'll fix it in post. Let me see here. Crackling energy, shadow rising menacingly, j leaps off screen, swap out the stun double, etc, etc. Here it is. Cue on the cue the big screen boss name, text, and false start the fight with recycled classic moves. Got it. Um, <laughs> comment at nine, brother. Uh, title card fix and post. <laughs> it, that is kind of funny. They, at least they are self-aware. They are recycling the bosses and all that. Uh, damn it. And willing to joke about it. Okay, he's going to come down. This is going to be tricky with just 12 health total. Yeah, I thought he was getting out of it early.
Okay. And he does that. And, uh, and I walk right into that. Well done. And he also okay. he finished eating fruit during that fight. Oh dear. Here we go. That face. Can we actually hit him while he's doing that? He's just out of reach. But we don't know who's someone who can hit him. At least guy can attack him safely like this. Yep. <laughs> that was easier. Okay, get ready to snatch the yams as quickly as possible. And they're blinking already. Yeah, I, I kind of feel like that's a bit of a bad mechanic. That... Okay, here we go. Who's who of Deja Vu? Let's let's go. Let's try and get a Hypno Baron first this time. I wonder, can, can you make green lightning? Yeah, uh, he's using some sort of own unholy energy. I'm presuming. That I think you uh, figure as much. Just I know you, lightning can be white and blue and such. Just. I'm always curious what it means when it's red and green. Since, let's be honest, you can make a fire blue. Yeah, depending on the uh, material that is burning. Yeah, uh, it, uh, advice people, if you see a blue fire, don't touch it. Yeah, that means it's, it, it's just even harder than normal, and we're losing all of our bloody gems here. Yeah, yeah, like, just a regular fire, you might be able to move over without too much harm. Just, it might still likely hurt, you should see not, should do not do that move in the fire. But blue fire... More painful, and more damaging. Yeah, because it's burning harder, and with less, uh... It, the, the flame is purer, so to speak, so it's, uh, it's running... Uh, it's running at a better mixture, so... And, yeah, I don't... I think we'll have to deal with the Squid Baron first. Because, yeah, it's a bit hard to just be able to target him. I feel like it's a bit unnecessary punishing with the bull you drop yen part. But that means that you could technically be extremely nerfed from one boss fight. Or even before you enter a boss fight. Yes. And the health as well, I feel like is. Yeah, like, they really was... should have just let these stupid squids be health upgrades. Yeah. Honestly, that's what original intention, but they felt like it would probably make it too easy. But the truth is, made it. Some bosses like Squid Baron here are a bit more painful. And At least they don't deal as much damage as I think they did before. Okay, we have about tw 25 minutes left. Yeah, there'll still be one more, one more level after this, I think. Yeah, and if you think we can finish this game today, I'm up for it. Uh, this part, at least. There will still be the costume DLC, and uh, I. S damn it! Now, I talked with this uh, with Rotia before the stream, but uh, 
I, Jammy's mode is just like the other DLC, you know, the other custom DLCs. Uh, it's just that it's a bit of a glass cannon run. You start you know, just like here. You only have three hearts throughout the entirety of the, well, the campaign. But you, you start out with 10 damage, which you can be upgraded to 16. And, well, different oh. dialogue from the characters. Oops. Magic. Yeah, these two are just such a pain because their attacks are difficult to uh, to dodge. It's not yeah. bloody Dark Souls, but it's still it's a bit of a jump compared to everything else. Yeah, like okay. as it is, Risky Boost and Shantae did not struggle as much as we have with these three. I think it is again. part. Damn it! Right, he he keeps catching me off guard with that stupid attack. But uh, you think it's due to the health? That as well, and the fact that they grow weaker as they take damage. Yeah, like I guess we could be forgiving for free health if we did not get weaker for each hit. Like now, but when we not each hit, when we risk loot, the more we hit we get, the big shots of us weakening is. Yeah, I, like I still think Sky is the easiest, is the best to pick here since she has the most reach. But yeah, yeah. Okay, come on. Send those pipe balls flying around. He's going to land here. Need to heal. I might actually be better off using Roddy here since. There's a lot less chance of getting hit by him there. I say just as we get hit there. And lose a level. Two levels even, what the heck? I, I keep expecting uh, Hypno Baron to start throwing out attacks in the, from the corners each time. I think what I think kind of what's going on is that they each have their moment, have their have their phases where the other is vulnerable. Hmm. Okay, take number five or something. I've lost count. Similar to how I've lost count of which not bloody stream we're on of this. Oh dear. Okay. Jump over, jump over, jump over, jump over. Then once he stops, he does that. Oh gosh, now I see the OBS that you have literally written number I don't know. Yeah. Oop, duck. Uh, we, we, we will probably have figured out which number we were on, if not for a thing on this could stop working. Uh, uh, damn it. Yeah, the stupid announce bot. Does that... Does this actually shield us or does it just damage enemies when we get near? Okay, yeah, it just damages enemies. 
Okay. Phase one done. Get into position again. Okay. First off, Bolo and Roddy heal. Okay, it seems contact damage is the most punishing when it comes to the uh, level damage. I'm going to miss this opportunity there, yeah. Okay. Never mind. Rotatops has a type of healing, just her healing is extremely handicapped. If that's a correct word uh, for this case. It does take half of her mana bar and it isn't refilled when we die each time. Yeah, like, it, like if we got more chance to refill the mana bar or it resorged. Maybe we have a better chance, but yeah, I, I really kind of messed up uh, with the gems and health system here. I guess they wanted to make it harder, but... Yeah, this stuff was tough already at the very start as well. Gee. Yeah, so I feel like they made it a bit too hard. <laughs> sniped him in the air. Okay, main priority, dodge the bloody attacks. And yeah, probably best if we just take Sky and try to keep our distance. First off, though, we have this. Better to actually focus down uh, Squid Baron first. Yeah. So it is like at least uh, Bolo would be, have easier time to fight uh, Hypno Baron afterwards. And just just Sky as well. Heal a damn it. I think we were just a step too close there and taking contact damage. Yeah. <sighs> Holy crap. And I do suspect we're all getting close to the end. Or at least close to beating one of them. But yeah, well, after this, there should only be one more mission, or one more level. Uh, that's I what think. I meant. I, I, again, I think we can go over time if it's like half an hour remaining. We might as well just get it over with, so to speak. So, so far, this boss fight is what's holding us back. Yeah, it's the sheer amount of <laughs> the sheer amount of attacks going around, and the fact that we have to dodge both of them. And walk yeah. two phases. Yep, and we had that on the level before with the... Yeah, you know, with the airships and all. There we go. 
Lovely, lovely. Hmm. Maybe we could Calamari. maybe we should use Bolo for this since he he has the strongest attack at the moment with range. Okay. Oh, those I see his more attacks. Oh. Yep. Hypnobarum floats just low enough to cause contact damage if we're standing. Too late to get hits on him. Green fire. Uh, mm, I feel like you can do green fire. Forget what green fire means. No heal. Mm. It's around here we keep getting stuck. Oh, first we get. Yeah, they, they aren't changing up their attacks based on how much were their damage. They're just going through a cycle. That doesn't say anything about how far how we are. <clears throat> yeah, it just mean like. They seem to get stuck in some phases due to the damn health system. Okay, just just kill us there. Too much damage taken. Yeah, I th I think we're. Let's keep going until we beat in this stupid boss. And then, because we're getting close to two hours, then we're just going to call it. Because I think we're... I'm just going to be too frustrated to keep going after this. Yeah. I, I actually agree with you. I was hoping we would already be done with this already. And the more I look at the time and see how this goes... Uh. Okay, the fact that he keeps getting me with that one is my fault. I kind of hope there's a cheat code for this. I don't think this game has cheats. Yeah, kind of surprising in that less and less games have cheats nowadays. There we go, won't be able to get those gems. We can't skip this either. I'm just going to take a drink and take a bite from of chocolate. It's basically too much going on here. I almost got me near you, fucker. Hmm? Okay, that's one of them gone. Finally! Should make the rest of the fight smooth smoother.
Yeah, this we can just cheese with her with range attacks and well the bird shield. He, can, he actually can't hit us if we're underneath him. Oop. There we go. Okay, much better. And all I needed was a bloody drink and some chocolate. <laughs> Yeah, okay, maybe we have a chance to finish it today then. Provided you know spin enough calm from this. There we go. Eat bird shit, Hypno Baron. Oh dear god. How are you feeling now? A lot better. Alright, then we might see if we can finish up today then. For if, was, if this was to keep going for another 10 minutes, then I would say. Yeah. Break. Uh, we do still have another level and another boss, though, so we might get stuck there as well. Oh, you so know what? I think you... <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. We did it. <laughs> we kicked that. We kicked that squid to the curb. We beat the final memory. That means we'll be seeing Shantae at her uncle's net at her uncle's workshop net next. We've got to prevent her transformation and bring her back. Got it? Let's do it. Hey, I guess Bola was right. It's not exactly time travel, but we are trying to change the future. I might have judged you I might have judged you too quickly, Bolo. <laughs> That's okay, no hard feelings. And Ready Tops, sorry about, you know, questioning your loyalty and all that. I always knew you'd do anything to save Shantae, same as us. Don't let it happen, don't let it happen again, food. And, what? well... Uh, um. As long as we're all saying stuff... Sky, you're sort of okay at bossing folks around and telling them what to do. You know, we make a pretty good team. We're no half genie, but we didn't do half bad. It sounds like we're all ready to go. Remember, yeah, remember, do whatever it takes to keep Uncle Mimic from throwing that switch. Next stop, Uncle Mimic's workshop. Nice. Wait. He's the boss? No. Okay, a bit fitty, but that would be a bit surprise twist. What is this place? Huh? Another one of Shantae's memories? Huh? I don't think so. <laughs> uh oh. Hey! It's her. How pathetic. You fools stepped right into my trap. This world is my domain. All of it. You I'm annoyed that you made it this far. So I've decided to disband the troublesome trio. I've prepared a special place for each of you. A private nightmare where your mind can sl suffer slowly while your body wastes away. Together you might have stood a chance. You're much too weak. But apart you're nothing. Oh no. She isn't here. She never was. You have no hope. Nothing to believe in. So, we, we really did fail her? Our friend? She really is gone? I, I can't believe it's true. Now go! Wander forever! Lost, separated, and alone in darkness. Yeah, the last world, or <laughs> the last level, is the Nightmare Realm. Where we have to go through areas as each of them alone. With new music! 
Nice! And I'm already concerned! Let's try and get as far as we can in the time we have left. Hopefully to a checkpoint. And yeah, here a lot of... Oop. Almost. Here we'll have to, well, go through trials as each of them separately. Okay, so... There. Okay. There we go. Oh, just barely made that. Oof. Yep. <laughs> All of that dodge and then we just poke our foot. You keep saying we a lot. Let's go. How about you are the one with the controller? Okay. Trying to do it again. There. Oh, damn it. Okay. Also, something to, I noticed a bit earlier is that all of Shantae's friends have something yellow on their head. Bolo and uh, Roddy Tops have a headband. And, well, Sky has blonde hair. Damn it. Yeah, I, I need to swing Let's there at go. full length. Yeah! I wonder if that's coincidental or. There's a mean behind it? I'm not sure. There we go. Okay. Yep. Okay. This one should be easy enough. Again, I still think it's just for <clears throat> completion and almost perfect timing. Yeah, yeah. Right. we can investigate that after uh, stream. Yeah, and we can probably end it there. So, yeah, definitely not the half hour I thought it was. I really underestimated how tough the bosses were. Yeah, and <sighs> half an hour would mean you you'd be able to just rock it, just rock it here through it all. <laughs> Maybe and... speedrunners can, but I definitely can't. Yeah. Okay. We're ending a bit early, but I don't think we have gotten to another checkpoint in that time. So let's move here, close that off, and look for someone to raid. So, uh, let's see. Swap the screen share over so Drakia can actually look along. There. Okay, let's see. Channels I'm subscribed to or follow. Yeah, follow is... Uh, Yorkscaster up to something. Rydian is playing uh, Plate Up. I, I, I think I'd like to try Plate Up at some point, but I'd rather play that with others as well, because uh, that's when the chaos really starts going. It's basically uh, oh. that overcooked game, but a bit bit more randomization in it. I think I've seen it. I, I think I enjoyed... Overcooked to watching it uh, like uh oh, but I was that name again. Oh right worst premed ever. I see them play it and some other YouTubes play it and I always usually laugh at it. But I also know that yeah. I could not play it from myself without panicking. Yeah. Uh beyond that there's K9 who is again streaming. Oh, that's the and time I see going nothing. off. Hmm? I, I, I see only us two. I see oh. no I thought I swapped it over. Uh, let, there we go. Must have there clicked the wrong thing. Let's see. Rhythm with Playtop. Kainai still playing Remnant from the Ashes. And Dugget Douglas McDog is again playing Tomb Raider. Uh, next up we have Iggy Maid who is streaming Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin. 
Never yeah, heard of that yeah, 18 one. 18 plus, it says, apparently. Mm. Uh, it, it might just be that... <clears throat> I've been seeing that people... Uh, yeah, I've been seeing the people put that up uh, more often. Because you, you can select if your stream is for uh, mo mo yeah, for mature watchers or not. It doesn't mean, like, not safe for work levels. But it does uh, that mature viewers are preferred. So not for kids and such. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, can't say I've heard of that. Uh, actually, I think... I think the last time I watched their stream, uh, Iggy it themselves was on vacation or something, and uh, someone else had taken over the stream. But I'm not entirely too sure about that. Uh, could just be a yeah story bit that they're doing. Let's see. Then we have Zerkovic, who is streaming Vermintide Two. I see. I recognize that name. I don't personally. I... Hmm. Wait. I know who it is. I see his videos on YouTube. No. Oh. If he is the one I think about is he has a lot a lot of videos helping explain how mechanics and such works in Warhammer. Total War. I did not know he played on Twitch. Oh wait, he has said he played on Twitch on other games. And it looks like he's the last dwarf standing at the moment. <laughs> Uh, we could give them a raid, perhaps. Before we do, let's take a look at other people who are on the line. We have Orven Ren Orven Ren Ace, who is streaming Mac Warrior Five Mercenaries. Um, then we have someone else who is streaming uh, Vermintide. Fu plays with his, a double A and a Z instead of an. <laughs> and lastly, in the what we're seeing here is. Tobe87, who is streaming War Tales, another game I haven't heard of. And nothing too special among the show more stuff. Well, shall, shall we uh, raid Zerkovic then? It, it is Zerkovic. Oh. Hmm. Okay, actually, yeah, why not Zerkovic? It does look like they have their uh, chat set to followers only, which it does help keep bots and stuff out, but I personally find it rather annoying, especially since, uh, yeah, if <laughs> you can't really get a feeling for someone right at the start of watching the streams and such. And, but yeah, let, I'll not speak too much of that. I don't want to bath mouth yeah. or something. Basically, it's a uh, double edged sword. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, okay. Who else instead then? Uh, we have something who someone who just started apparently. Karen A. Uh, K A E R. Uh, it's it's almost of K N I, but uh, <laughs> the reverse with an R N in the middle. They're streaming Horizons Gate. Can't say I've heard of that. that one. Let's take a peek. Yeah, they're just still starting up. I think I might I might have seen this before, so I might have yeah. I, I might have caught a glimpse of their streams before. Maybe but but I, I, even I recognize this. Okay, let's go. Uh, hmm. Okay, Zerkovic or Karenay then. Hmm. I feel like we have a bit of a tricky point today on who we are to raid. Now, let's, let's go with Zerkovic since uh, they're already started and not waiting to. It could be five minutes. Could be, some streamers do 10 minutes of pre stream. So, yeah. Copy the name. Move over. Slash raids. There we go. And yeah, I can close off the chat program since we're quitting, anyways. <clears throat> okay. Uh, thank you, anyone who's watching now or later. And. Yeah, thank you, of course, as always, Drakir. You're welcome, as always, my friend. Uh, let's see. I won't be able to stream this weekend because I'm I'm starting with night shifts today until Sunday. So until I will be busy with that until Monday morning. So maybe not a stream Monday afternoon, but probably a stream Monday uh, evening. 
And then I have only three work days in the next week. I'll have to double check which those are. But in the other days, we should be able to do at least one stream each, maybe a double here or there. But since there will be so much available, I will probably go with singles. And I'll try to have a, well, I'll try to have a bit of a collab or a, a multiplayer streams going at one point in there as a, uh, <clears throat> as a celebration for the 100 followers mar milestone. Nice. But yeah, until then, though, uh, thanks again and have a nice day. At, until then, uh, uh, bleh, messing up. Uh, have a nice day, but until then, uh, yeah, I'm completely blanking up. I'll see you all later. Have a nice day. Be safe, everyone, and look out for crabs, lobsters, and sea monsters. Uh, yeah. Laters. Later.